I love that name, Annette Warren. Is that oh, your real thank name? Thank you. No, my brother, my brother's name was Warren, and my father's name was Warren. Their first name. Uh -huh. My name was Annette Werwage, Wer and that wasn't very theatrical. Uh -huh. So I took their name and made the it mystery Annette lady <laughs> of Hollywood. You girl. Oh my dear, tell me about this voice of yours, the mystery voice. <laughs> I well, mean, which this, mystery are you talking about? I'm talking about <laughs> Lucille Ball and uh -huh. Ava Gardner and these great movies that you did yeah. the singing for yes. in these wonderful yes. films. Yeah. And Dick, it's screen credit. No, no. Why? Well, in those days, they wanted to give the illusion that the star was doing the singing, and so uh, we didn't get credit. I, but it, what, what is so astounding, Skippy, uh -huh. is that that was something I did 40 years ago, and it's coming back to haunt me, but in a very pleasing, positive way. It didn't upset <laughs> you. It didn't upset you to go into the theater to hear Ava Gardner sing, and that was your voice. And Not at all. Right? It didn't even occur to me to be upset. It was just something I did. Ah, but you Lucille know, Ball. And it was fun. Tell me about Lucille Ball working with that great lady. Well, she was a wonderful lady. She was the most ingenuous person, very real, completely unpretentious, uh -huh. wonderful sense of humor on and off the screen. Uh -huh. you know, what, what studio was this fancy pants? Paramount. Paramount? Yeah. I did several pictures for really? her. With her? Uh -huh. uh, uh huh. Let me see. Was it Pale Face? Pale Face. Bob Hope. Yeah. Fancy Pants and Sorrowful Jones. I think there was another one, but I forget. Uh -huh. How many ladies <laughs> have you done? Just, uh, Ava? I did Ava Gardner and Lucille Ball and another gal whose name I can't remember. You know, that's what happens you did after the a voices. lot of time. I also did a, a thing that was a lot of fun. I, when UPA cartoons were very big, like right. Hanna-Barbera, right, right. I did all the voices in Frankie and Johnny. Did you really? Yeah, I think they won a prize with that. Oh, congratulations, yeah. darling. <laughs> I, like to see, I like to see Fancy Pants right now with Lucille okay. Ball. You're doing the, uh, the film, a number in this film. Yes. What is it called? Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. I like to see it right now. Those Paramount Studios, those days, used to be there at what time in the morning to look at that film and sing along with that film? I don't remember that part of it. I, I remember Ray Evans and Jay Livingston wrote the songs. Right. And uh, that's really, uh, I don't remember that I was there at any particular time. Looking at the film, was it kind of catchy, I mean, to do, uh, to sing over that? Is it difficult? No, see, I made the record first. You made the record. And then Lucille dubbed. Oh, is that what my, happens? Yeah, that's usually the way it happens. Oh, I see. Yeah. You do the record. Yes. And then she mounts yes. it like a mime. Yeah. Same as yes, Oh, exactly. I see, I yeah. see. I thought you would go in yeah. the studio. Now, I had a, a little different situation with Ava Gardner because they got a wonderful screening of her. Right. Right. on my bill and uh, I had to have earphones put on me and the orchestra played in my ears right and I had to look at her mouthing on the screen and then sing to what she was doing visually that was a little more tricky because uh -huh. you know, that's usually not the way it's done Ava Gardner what yes. a great lady. What a oh, great yes. beauty of Hollywood. She was one of the most beautiful women in the whole world. Yeah. Was she nice? She was very nice. And, and she had her little foibles, you know. She kept saying, my legs are too short for my body. Uh -huh. I thought that was so funny, this magnificent uh -huh. creature. The song you did in MGM Lavish Musical. Oh, Showboat. It was a classic oh. of its time. Oh, yes. it's great. Every time you hear yourself, when you go to the theater, mm -hmm. how do you feel? 
seeing I don't, Ava Gardner singing your, your voice. I mean, you're doing your voice. How do you feel sitting there on this big screen, this beautiful lady, and your voice is coming out of this beautiful lady? Come on. I don't think I feel anything. You I don't? mean, I d no. Mm -hmm. I'm listening for if I, listening to see if I could have done something a little better vocally. Uh -huh. You know, I, I listen with those kind of ears naturally. Right. Uh -huh. But uh, I don't. I like to I, see a clip of that though. Right. I like to see a clip of Ava Gardner doing uh, the man I love. Is it? Or uh, is it? Can't help loving that man and my Bill. Okay. I sing. I don't know which clip. Bill, you have. Bill, Bill, Bill. My favorite song <laughs> from uh, Showboat. That's so beautiful. The one thing I do notice is that this is 40 years later. My voice is 40 years older. And, and when I listen to this young thing. Uh -huh. I bet your voice still <laughs> is there, isn't it? Yes, it is. You keep As that... a matter of fact, it is. It is? Yes, yeah, my voice is better than it's ever been. Ah, oh, but the lady next to you, Joanne <laughs> Greer. Joanne Greer? Yep. God, 35 years with less Brown yep. and his renowned band. Yes. Come on. It's a lot of fun. Vocalists with Les Brown. Well, not only that, we've gone to so many countries, and that's... Uh, You've been all over the world. Yeah. But, but I did see you guys in Germany, I think, at the bases. Oh. I did. I was used to entertain the troops in, in Wiesbaden and all of Oh, I love Germany, Wiesbaden. And you guys were there. I yeah. remember seeing it. I've yeah. seen you. Now I remember. And you were just great. Tell me about Rita Hayworth. You're oh. the lady who sang these songs with Rita She was wonderful. She, of all the people that I, she and Esther Williams were the ones I liked the most. Esther because, Williams too? Yes. But uh, I just did her last picture. Uh -huh. But uh, Rita was very shy. And I knew her brother before that because he had the concession of, of parking the cars at the Palladium. And we worked at the Palladium all the time. Right, right. So because I knew Eddie first, right. uh, I, it gave me something to talk to her about because she's extremely shy. Uh -huh. Very, very shy. And she really didn't have a real happy life uh -huh. uh, you growing from up. Originally? Where were you from originally? Well, I was born in Atlantic City, but I'd been in California since I was two. Two. So you so grew up So I here. don't really, yes. How did you get into show business, you girls? How, both of you, I'd like to know. How did you get into show business first? Um, David Street heard me singing, and uh, I was just working with friends of mine, just having fun. Right. And he started teaching me microphone technique. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think you're going to do very well. And he taught me a great deal of the things that he learned at Metro, right. which was great for me because uh, uh -huh. it, it, was, it just was very easy to take on, you know. Who was your first lady? That I, you mean you that said, I dubbed? Yeah, I dubbed. Gosh, I don't Do you remember? Because um, you've done so many, I understand. Yes, I did some before Rita. Um, I can remember what they were, but I don't know exactly. June Allison, was it? No, that was the last one I did. That was just uh. the remake of The Women where they played it on a record. Uh-huh. They did. Because yes. you could not sound like her now because her voice has changed. So she's, right. she talks so much lower than uh -huh, she did then. Uh -huh. But um, I did a picture song? with uh, Frankie Lane first, with oh. a girl that I don't, she was an ingenue and I don't think she ever did more than that. But uh -huh. uh, she was supposed to be a girl singing at the studios. Uh -huh. And so I was dubbing for her. And that was the first one I did. Gloria Grant. No, Gloria Graham. Gloria, oh, who's the one I'm thinking of? It's, uh, yeah, wasn't it Gloria Graham? Weren't you with, did you do Gloria Graham? I may have. I don't you remember did. now, I think. 
Yes, I don't I even you remember. Did. Yes, you did. You did a movie <laughs> with her. I remember. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, That's okay. And June Allison, tell me, what song was that? Well, now, with the June Allison, I didn't really work with her. This was the last picture that she made, and right. it's on a record it's in the movie. It's on a record thing, yes. Right. Because when I went over there, I told the director, I said, I can't sound like her. Oh, she yes, talk yes. like this, you know? Yeah. And I said, I can't sing for her. They said, don't worry. It's just going to be on a record. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know? So that was uh, very easy. Rita Hayworth. The song. She was wonderful. Trinidad, was it? A Fair and Trinidad, Trinidad was the first one. Right. Uh -huh. And she was wonderful. She was extremely shy. Uh -huh. and, uh, was she really shy? Oh, very, very shy and a very warm person. Uh -huh. She did not act like a movie star, uh -huh. like you would imagine movie right. stars would act. Right. And uh, the second picture I made with her was a little, quite a while mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. She walked all the way across the stage to come over and say hello to me. She was just a very warm, uh -huh. person that was very shy, but when, when we started doing these uh -huh. movies together, we all knew each other uh -huh. then, you know, and it was Tell me, how was do you feel nice. when you see yourself on the film? I mean, your, your voice is coming out of this Well, when lady. she's dancing, great, because I can't dance. Sid Charisse. So, I mean, uh, go, Well, I didn't do I Sid know. Charisse. Yeah. The lady next to you did yes, Sid Charisse. Yes, she certainly oh, did. India Adams. Come on, India. Hello. India <laughs> Adams, one of my favorite ladies. Sid Charisse, you did, I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> I love her, too, darling. How are you doing? I'm just Adams. doing great. I'm, I'm listening to these two, and I'm thinking, wow, they're oh, wonderful. Oh, look at this. I have three beautiful ladies who did, and you did Joan Crawford in Torch Song? Yes. Tell me about Joan Crawford. Oh, I loved her. She was really, she was quite an incredible person. Uh -huh. I was very young, and I was very starry-eyed, and I, I just thought she was great. Where are you from, India? Well, I actually grew up here. Uh-huh. I lived in England, though, for over 16 years. Ah, so is that where you got your break in singing? No, no, I started here. You came here? In yes, uh -huh. I started here. Uh-huh. Um, what was your first lady? Um, Sing. Sid Charisse. Sid Charisse was your first. And yes. Bandwagon, was it? The Bandwagon. Oh, what a great, that's entertainment. That's you. Yes, but so, so is New Sun in the Sky. <laughs> what great songs. What a voice. Oh, yes. Well, we're talking uh, Dietz and Schwartz as composers. And Torch Song. Yes. Oh, Joan Crawford. What a great lady. Tell me about your songs you did in these movies. How many songs did you girls do? How many songs oh, did you do? Oh, I did a number of them for Rita. Really? I must have done seven or so. Anything. Sadie Thompson. Different. I did Sadie Thompson. I did three movies that she did. What songs? Some, uh, I, I don't know if we have I've the, been kissed before. And, uh, Kiss? Oh, really? The Blue Pacific Blues, which is the pretty one. Uh-huh. And she was marvelous. She was such a nice person. After this first time that I worked with her, she went, walked all the way across the stage, a right. huge stage, to come over and talk to me. She was very, very nice, extremely shy, but she was a very warm person. And she didn't act like a movie star. She didn't? No, she was lovely. Ava Gardner was sweet, too, and Lucille Ball. Nice. They didn't act like movie stars, Not did they? All. Not a bit. Hollywood was great those days, girls, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. It must yeah. have been fun. It yeah. was a different it was. world, that's certain. Yes. It was a different oh, world. Yes, yes. really. Girls, uh, did you meet each other before? Did you know each other? No, we, I knew never, of both of them. Yeah. Alan but Eichler, who yes. is uh, a manager and publicist and so forth, right. and has wonderful ideas and specializes in rejuvenating Re careers. Right, that's exactly. Specialty. Is that how he put you saw girls me together? One night at the, yes, he yeah. saw me one night at uh, just, I went to hear someone at the Vine Street Grill, and he said, I have an idea for you and Indy Adams and Joan Greer, and then I never heard of, uh, about it. And uh -huh. then after a while, the whole thing converged and came together and he put us together and now we're doing this act you're doing an act yes. right now and a it's, whole act three girls yeah. called the voices yeah. the voices. Voices. Just just voices. voices i love it isn't that fun and alan eichler <laughs> did this yes he did oh he's yes, got a he great did. mind he had john mcdaniel is our musical director uh -huh. and david, david gillian Galligan. who is galligan is uh, uh -huh. the uh, Director. director of us. I can't believe and, it. It's uh, wonderful. It's, it, we all are having so much fun together. We, yeah. we the really do. Overnight sensation. You yes. are. In the history of show business. You, girls are no, I'm going. the oldest, so you? they have to do what I say. I'm the. Uh oh. oh, oh. <laughs> you remind me of that Vickers girl. An another blonde. <laughs> another blonde. Yeah. Right. Well, there's nothing wrong with blondes, surely. Oh. <laughs> well, mine's natural. <laughs> oh. Oh, here. Oh, good. We won't get into now, that. Now, voices. Then. Come on, voices. Let me tell you. You're opening at the Roosevelt Hotel. That's that's right, the Senegrill. The Senegrill. Oh, how exciting. And you're going to travel around with this all over? Hopefully. The Evidently, that's, a, that's what he has planned. We're waiting eventually. for offers to what pour idea. in. What an idea. This has never been on. This well, we're going to be reviewed, and I think maybe something will depend on that. I don't really know. Because nobody is, out there really yeah. knows that Rita Hayward didn't did yeah. do the singing. 
Yeah. And that uh, said Charisse didn't do the same. Yeah, no, the amount of interest that's been shown right. with is, this is really yeah. quite exciting. Yeah. Uh, but you, you have to understand that, that uh, girls that danced and did a tremendous amount of it, they were working on that all the time. Right. That's why they didn't learn to sing. Sing. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 35 years with. <laughs> oh, that unbelievable. Come on. oh, it's wonderful. Charlie, I've about. been all over the world. We're going back to Japan in December again. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, you speak Japanese, konbawa, konnichiwa, and all that. I know, I can't say anything. <laughs> but. <laughs> but working with Les Brown, what kind of guy is Les oh, Brown? Oh, he's great. Is he, is he yeah. the guys he's in the, the band? He's the nicest person in the world to work with. Oh, yeah, I know them all. I've had, well, I'm not doing it anymore, but I have so many showers for everybody in the band. <laughs> a band years, singer, you hey. A band, you're yeah. a band singer, really a yeah. band singer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been singing all my life just around the house and everywhere my mother used to sing to me when I was little uh-huh yeah. what is a band singer really like what is it I, oh it's fun it's is it great really? fun yeah to travel around one-nighters sleeping we, in buses and well we didn't do too many one-nighters we'd go two or three days here or something you know uh -huh. and uh, but I got to see a lot of the world uh -huh. and a lot of the United States uh -huh. and it's fun Annette, first of all, I want to I want to see your clip. I want to see a clip that you did. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what it is, uh, but I would like someone to help me out there in the studio. Let's oh, show. I don't that know what clip. it is either. Doing? We're going to see. We're going to find out. Reese? I don't know. I think uh, it's no, it's Rita, Rita Hayworth or Rita Rita Rita. Either it has one. To be Rita. Let's see. Yeah. It's Rita Hayworth. Then. Rita Hayworth. Let's see. Isn't the heat a song? Yeah, here it is. Now it's Rita Hayworth. Yeah. Perfect. She was cold and rather drab. So at all the local parties, she was not the one they'd grab. But she read a book and then came the transformation. She announced one night to people's consternation. Touch my lips, you might ignite, and you would have yourself to blame. The heat is on, the heat is on. I want to know if men are men or mice to want to wither on the bow. I might have formerly been cold as ice, but I'm a forest. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. She was so shy. She was. Very shy. And but when she got up to dance, uh -huh. it was just wonderful. Really? Really wonderful, yeah. Those days at, at Columbia, when she was yeah. at Columbia, God, did you meet Colin? Did you meet him? Uh, I met him, but I can't, she said to me, keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word when he comes in. Just sit there. <laughs> because I, I was scared to death of him. Were you? Everyone in Hollywood. Everyone was. She Why? was. She was. She, she, Rita Hayward was scared. She would sit like this, you know, when he would come in, and, and she was very nice when he'd talk to her and everything, but evidently it was very difficult to work with, and she uh -huh. was very shy. Did she ever say anything to you? Intimately, about, about what? Anything Intimate, in intimately. life, intimate between. T uh, she come up to you at all and talk. Oh, we to talked you? a lot. Yes, did. yes, we did talk a lot. Was she she a, was extremely. Was shy. she very spiritual? Would you say that? I don't know. I don't know. She was. She was so thrilled with her younger daughter. Uh -huh. She just loved her younger. And of course, you know that the daughter took care of her. Right. After when after she was got ill. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. She she took care of her the whole time. Mm -hmm. And they were very, very close. What were you doing in England all that time? What were you living I was, there? I was, oh yes, I, I was working. I did hundreds of shows for the BBC. I did shows on the continent. Uh-huh. Um, singing? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. You, so you keep singing all the time? You bet. All three, <laughs> all three of you girls just kept on yeah. singing all these years. Mm -hmm. It's so well, easy. You know, th th I was just going to say, when you've got it in you, you just do it. What would you advise these young girls today? I mean, you, you're listening to some voices out there. I mean, I'm listening to voices here. Yeah. What do you think about how, what's the entertainment like today? Girls? I'm mostly glad I'm not in that, am, in that ball game. Am I right? Yeah. What yeah. do you think, my darling? Well, you don't hear too many of them today that really, I don't see that I mean, you've been around. So you've much. been around, yes. darling. You, yeah. you know, you're a, you girls have been around. Yeah. But you, you have said, to have the, the emotion, too. And I don't <laughs> think a lot of them that I've seen younger girls don't have that emotion. They're just out there waiting for people to... They want to be stars yes, overnight. Yes, you don't. It just doesn't happen that way. It's it not takes... beautiful, it's loud. <laughs> yeah, oh, that that's, goes on, too. That's lovely. I like that. Yeah. It's but loud. But there are some very talented people Yes, of course there. There, yes. Are. there are talented people. So what would you advise the young girls out there? I know what advice I'd give. Would you? Tell me. I like to hear this. Don't do it. Study music. <laughs> right. Learn to sight read. 
sight read. Mm -hmm. Study your instrument so that you are a craftsman, not just a dumb-headed singer who's uh -huh. out there, okay? Uh -huh. So that you know what you're doing. Very often, I, the difference between getting the job and not getting the job uh -huh. is be able to sight read. I see. Yeah, that, that was my experience. I could very often get a job because I could pick up the music and read it because I'm a trained pianist. But yes. <clears throat> I think studying voice, I don't have any respect for people who say, I never uh -huh. took a lesson in my life. I see. Uh oh, I mean, I that's agree. kind of insulting, you know, <laughs> to the instrument or to the art, the great yeah. art of singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your very first singing job? Look back over your career. Do you remember that? Well, I was going with a fellow that worked in a club on Sunset Boulevard, and I used to go up there and sing. Really? But I wasn't being paid for it. I oh. just would sing in this club all the time. What was the club? Do you remember? Do you have? I don't remember the name of it. Because I grew no. up here in Hollywood. It was on it. Sunset Boulevard, okay. and the Harry Wham had the band. Okay, I don't. I don't know if you would know him. <laughs> How about you? I remember my Your first, first singing job very, very well. There was a boy that I was going to school with who was a musician. Uh huh. And he was playing in a little club at Five Points in El Monte. Right. And I remember the name of it. It was called the Golden Lee <laughs> Cafe. Ah. Oh. And I he played it. there with a trio, I think it was, uh -huh. uh, Thursday through Sunday. Right. And he asked me, you know, he said if I came with him one night, he'd let me get up and sing. Uh -huh. And I did that, and the boss came up and he said that he would hire me for Friday and Saturday nights at $5 a night. Uh -huh. And I asked him if I didn't charge him any extra, would he let me work Thursday and Sunday uh -huh. too? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. That's I worked. Thursday through, I was there for a number of oh, months. Oh, that's great, that's great. And he used to keep watermelon in the fridge for me because I liked it. <laughs> ah. You still like watermelon, right? I still like watermelon. How about you, my darling? Do you remember well, your very Yes, first I really do, and it's, it's kind of funny because, uh, as I said, I was uh, really a pianist, and one night when I was very young, my mother took me to a little nightclub in Cleveland, Ohio called the Skyway Lounge, uh -huh. and there was a gal there who sang risque songs. And she was complaining that she, her pianist had walked out on her, and I had a ribbon in my hair and ankle socks. Right. And the young boy who was with my mother and me said, she can play the piano. Uh -huh. So uh, she said, well, come up and play. And I played Claire de Lune for this little nightclub audience. Oh, great. They hired me, and I went uh, to the store and bought a lot of popular music because uh -huh. it was a nightclub. Right. And I would sit there and rip off one piece after the other with a Nova chord in one right, hand right. and that old thing. And then <clears throat> the gal named Dorothy Taylor said to me, uh, if you can sing a couple songs, I'll put you in the show. Uh -huh. So I learned Summertime and My Man. And every night I got up and said, I have a request. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And the funny part of it was I accompanied her, and uh -huh. she sang really dirty songs. I uh -huh. hadn't a clue. Francis what Faye? She was the, no, her name was Dorothy Taylor. She was in oh, Yeah, okay. She was a wonderful That's lady. Fine. Girls, was, do you regret any of your lives, your careers, that you were dubbed the voice, I mean, no, voice? No, you don't no. Have no bad. regrets? You girls oh, no. have no regrets? Not it was at a all. great experience. It was a great Not experience. At all. You know, I really no. wanted to Because you didn't get credit, no recognition. No, but we had fun, and, and yeah. I and Is that I the way you look at that? So oh, yeah. And you were asking, you know, what did you think when you watched yourself, right. yeah. watched somebody right. like that in your voice? It's the most fun even now i get a big kick out of it but your friends knew it was you oh yeah your friends all oh, your yes. friends knew it was you yeah. oh yes but the world didn't know but the well, world no, didn't but then a lot of things know. were published people yeah. in the news around hollywood they, in hollywood they would find out and they would put it in put a it lot in. of yeah. they love the trades, yeah, the trades they, but not the, the, the people trades. in omaha no. nebraska no, no that's, that's no. what i mean but the trades loved or even or any yeah. columnist i like dropping it if they know it of course i like to see the other clip of joan crawford i think this is joan crawford Crawford's clip. Yes. Let's see it. Okay. Oh, you three <laughs> lovely ladies. I don't know why they scold me for doing what I'm trying not to do. No man can ever hold me, and yet I never mean to be untrue. Someday I will wake up, find out what is wrong with my dual Can't 
stop being a two-faced... Oh, India. <laughs> India Adams. Yes. Joan Crawford. God, how do you feel about that? Joan Crawford. Well, come on. It's like, you know, she was a legend, and I was Did there. Did you ever meet her daughter, fun. Christina? N no. Yeah, no. You should meet her. She's a nice lady, very sweet. Is she? You girls, I can't uh, believe I'm sitting here with three the most fabulous ladies in show business <laughs> of Hollywood. Unknown, unknown <laughs> talent, but lunch. not really unknown because <laughs> you girls' voices have been heard throughout the world. That's true. Throughout yeah. the world. Yeah. And Les Brown, band renowned sitting over there. Come <laughs> on, I love this lady too. Oh, that's a lot of fun. That, it is a lot of fun, isn't it? Uh -huh. It is, it really is. He's wonderful to work with. So you girls have no regrets no, at all? Not, no. Looking back over your lives, you have nothing. Would you do it the same way? Come on. No, I, I would not. You I would not? not what would you do? Um, I would have been more self-protective. I had one of those, several of those classic stories of being on the brink of having something wonderful happen and have someone who is in, a, in the very high echelon say, unless you become my yes. paramour, I will see that you never get anywhere. And so really? that was oh. a big, yeah, I had several tremendous things that I was just starting on. Really? And the, like the president of the advertising uh -huh. agency just before I went on right. told me that he would kill my career if I didn't become his lady love. And so really? I said, well, I'm really not interested in being So Hollywood, <laughs> this was in Hollywood. So I had several of those things happen to me, yeah. Uh -huh. But I would have been more assertive about it. I would have told someone that it was happening yes. to me. I would have been more aggressive just as yes. um, I, I, but I was Those so, days the casting was couch so, was around. It was. Oh, I was, was it? so yeah. green, you know. There was. And, uh, but I you probably never sad. saw it. Did you see it around Holly's? Uh, I much. Uh, no, a couple people uh, uh, Holly said tired. things to me, but I was so dumb and so uh, naive uh -huh. anyway. I just go, oh, oh, uh -huh. you know. And they left you, left you alone. Yeah. Would you do it the same way? I would imagine, yes. I'm looking at you. I think you would. Yeah. I think you would, yeah. But I love the dubbing. I love doing you that. Do I love dubbing. Yeah. Rita used to laugh at me because I cannot dance, and I'd have to walk around sometimes to get the, uh -huh. the mood that she's yeah. doing, and she'd be... <laughs> so you, so you, you enjoyed to, your voice coming out of Sid Charisse's you know, body, but, huh? but Rita, I really love working. Rita Hayward. She was wonderful. Was that your favorite? Yeah, because she was she was very shy, and when you got to know her, uh -huh. she was extremely warm, and she didn't act like a movie I star. See, I see. You know, she was just wonderful. Tell me about you. What? Do you have? Would you do it the same way, or do you have any regrets at all, or any, I don't would have you do any, it the same way? I'd have done something, something different, so that I'd have been a really big star. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have been smart enough uh -huh. to find somebody who'd really uh -huh. knew what to do with me. Right. You right. know, I had a lot of opportunities, and I've done a lot. I mean, uh, a lot of people think, you know, yeah. that's really a great career, and I loved my career. You three girls are just incredible, <laughs> I must tell you. And we all like They're, each other. You like each oh, other. Oh, yeah. yeah, very, very much. Yes. Yes. We have a lifetime friendship for yeah. That's yes. great, yes, girls. And really you're going to be opening at the Roosevelt Hotel? August yes. 27th. August 27th. I can't believe August 27th. The girls are going to be there, <laughs> yeah. and, and it's going to be jam-packed with loads of celebrities coming to see the oh, boys. Oh, oh, so. That so. they haven't... Oh, God, you, I, I'm so proud of you three girls. I'm very honored, and thank Alan Eichler for me. You're adorable. <laughs>